For around 400 years, the Dutch city of Delft has been doing wondrous things with clay. Inspired by the porcelain arriving from China, potters here soon started making their own blue and white ceramics. Today, Royal Delft is the only factory left in the city. Ib is showing me one of the first and most important steps in the production process, the casting. Hi, what are we doing today? Uh, we are going to make uh, the skirt of the Proud Mary. All right, can I have a go? Yeah, <laughs> you can. <laughs> yeah. This is the clay. Yeah. The clay comes out of this tube. Right. If you put this handle like this. Yeah. Okay. It goes, you see? Wish me luck. Yeah, good luck, mate. <laughs> is that yeah, easy, 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 yeah, yeah. easy, easy, in the middle. What happens yeah. if you go too quickly? Then you can have air inside. And oh, we don't want that? No, no, we don't want it, no. You're sort of an expert. Uh, beginner's luck. <laughs> Stop, okay, stop, stop. Yeah, yeah. Stop. A little drip bit, yeah, okay, beautiful. And then we close this. Right. Once filled, the mold is topped off. The skirt is then left for 15 minutes. After that, the remaining liquid clay is tipped out, leaving behind a crust. And yeah, now you, t you turn it over. All the way? Yeah, all the way, yeah, yeah. Easy. Okay, you sure? Yeah, yeah, I'm Am sure. I doing this correctly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it comes out, you see? What is still liquid goes out. Right. And the crust will stay. Hi, what makes a good Delft potter? If you're uh, holding it too tight, it, it breaks. So you need to be sensitive and, and technical. After being emptied and turned the right way up, the skirt is left for an hour. It's then ready to take out. Yeah, easy. Oh, wow, look at that. There it comes, you see? And this is the same. To the back. Yeah, there we are. There he is. So okay. Now we have to put him on the, on the plate here. Okay. And then he can dry. This is the sensitive part. If you push too hard, you will break it. So take a full hand. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. This should be good. Beautiful. And now just let it dry till it is dry like this. Hi. You sort of look like an expert. Oh, already. thank you. Thank you too. <laughs> Once dry, the pottery is sponged. This crucial step removes any irregularities and defines the final shape. The object is then decorated with special paint containing cobalt, a highly skilled job that takes around a decade or so to master. It's then glazed and fired. This is the magic part. A chemical reaction turns the black paint into the iconic blue. Today, genuine Delft can fetch a small fortune. Thankfully, Co is on hand to tell me how to distinguish the fake from the real. Co, we have the skirt of a proud Mary here. Why did the Dutch potters start copying Chinese porcelain? Well, we started importing uh, Chinese porcelain at the end of the 16th century, but it got quite a boost when the East Indian Training Company was founded. And that was competition for the local pottery, so they already started to imitate it, improve the process of the local uh, pottery. And then due to domestic problems into China, the, um, the import staggered, and that's where they had a chance to, to really grow. And at a certain moment, there were about 34 factories uh, in Delft. And why was it so popular? It was very delicate. In Europe, we could not make porcelain. So in Delft, they started to mix the clay in a different way. They were able to make it thinner. The result looked a lot like the Chinese porcelain. That's why people call it Dutch or Delft porcelain, but in fact, it's earthenware. The decorations were very refined and the color blue was new. So how do you tell the difference between what's fake and what's real? Yeah, the easiest is you would have another skirt uh, beside it and you could compare it and then you will notice that the details will all be a little different. Yeah. You will notice that the shades of the blue are different because we paint by hand. Yes. If you use more water, you get a lighter blue, less water is a darker blue. And um, of course, you can also tell by looking on the bottom. The name Delft, of course, is included. You will find the initials of the painter on the piece, a dating code, and this is limited edition. This is number 60, and we're going to make totally 150 of these. And each piece is unique? Each piece is unique. There are never two which are identical. OK. And if somebody uses that trademark, what, what will happen? Then we take legal steps. OK. May I? Yes, of course. Don't drop it. OK, <laughs> no. It's absolutely tremendous. Thank it's you. It's absolutely beautiful. Thank you. No, thank you. You're welcome.